The year is 1947. The place is stationed KTLA here in Los Angeles, which is making their very first experimental broadcast in television. And guess who's there? This is KTLA Television, Los Angeles. From now until 7 o'clock, watch the news go by and listen to recorded music as you align your receivers for best reception of KTLA. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bob, first commercial television broadcast, Hope, telling you gals who've tuned in, and I want to make this emphatic, if my face isn't handsome and debonair, please blame it on the static. Now, that was... That was 1947. Think of the progress. I mean, look how far we've come from that rather crude, amateurish beginning. In only 46 years, television is able to bring you a program like studs. <laughs> kind of makes your heart beat with pride, doesn't it? But in 1950, three years later, Barb's, Bob Snart, or Barb, I call him Barb, When you know each other as long as we have, Barb, Bob, doesn't make any difference. <laughs> Bob starred in his own regular series. This is the very first Bob Hope show, the first time he ever walked out in front of the NBC cameras. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Television. Well, they finally got me. I want to tell you, it's a great... Which camera's working? <laughs> of course, the real reason I'm wearing this little outfit is the fact that uh, a lot of performers die on television, and if that happens to me, I want to be prepared for it. But far from dying, Bob took an infant medium and brought it to life. Hey, Bing! Slouch pouch! Where are we? Station out. I told him he couldn't play Crosby. How can a hot dog pinch hit for a salami? For those of you who came in late, I'm Crosby the Explorer. We're searching for the tropic island, Dorothy Lamada. <laughs> Pass the hat. Let's get going, huh? And listen, Jimmy, I'm so thrilled that you're out here tonight with me. This is wonderful. No kidding. I'm always glad to be next to you because you make my nose look small. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, when it comes to noses, you're a retailer, I'm a wholesaler. <laughs> that aside, Lolita, now we'll put an end to this cad. Cad, Jack, please, this is the Buick show. Will you watch it? <laughs> I'm gonna blow your brains Do any jokes we didn't plan on, huh? <laughs> and at this time, Lassie, romance comes into your life and you fall in love with your leading man. Here he is with us tonight, that popular playboy Rudolph the Warm Nose Airedale, right there. <laughs> A 21-inch incision. 21-inch? <laughs> Would you care for the center cut? <laughs> I'm making my... I'm making... <laughs> it's not cold. We soaked it in hot water before... <laughs> I don't know what to cut. Everything looks so good. Hey, well, what about fingers? Forget about... He's your... You're his girlfriend. <laughs> Forget about fingers. Kiss me, Jelly Roll. Rosie. Fingers. Jelly Roll. Finger. Rosie. Jelly Roll. Yellow. Fingers. <laughs> Rosie. 
Producer. You sound like a bunch of long playing idiots. So, the minute my back's turned, yeah. you make a pass at my Rosie, huh? Fingers, please. That's the lousiest thing I've ever been in. <laughs> We certainly cast right for it. <laughs> Bob. Bob, before I finish my portion of the program, I'd like to say something to you personally. For those of us who do comedy or think we do comedy, we owe you a great deal. You've been an inspiration for several generations of comedians. You've certainly played a role in the direction of my life, and I thank you. It's incredible. I know of no one else in the world who has had your success in vaudeville, Broadway theater, radio, motion pictures, television. It's just incredible. To be on top of your profession for over 65 years pretty much says it all. Quite simply, the world, I think, has been a happier place and a better place because Bob Hope is in it. Thank you, Bob. Happy birthday.